All right, look, now Russell Wilson and the Denver Broncos, they've officially parted ways after two seasons. And the worst of it, Russell Wilson gets to keep all of his money while the Denver Broncos, they take a huge cap hit of $85 million. This is a terrible move. And let me go all the way back to just really explain and really get an understanding of, of what's, what's going on with this Denver Broncos team. So back in 2022, the Bronco front office, they've been making bad decisions all the way since then. You go back two years from now, they were still making bad decisions. Um, in 2022, they traded with the Seattle Seahawks, gave up two first round picks, first round picks. Oh, my gosh. Two first round picks, two second round picks. They traded Drew Locke. They traded they traded Noah Fant, and they signed Russell Wilson to a five-year, $242 million deal, which is insane. And they guaranteed this man $165 million, which is crazy because at this time, keep in mind, Russ was leaving Seattle, and he was kind of on a decline. People were saying, oh, Russ is not as good as he used to be. People really started to vividly understand that Russell Wilson is kind of on his back leg of his career. Then he went over to the Denver Broncos, and they decided to pay this man $242 million. So this was already very, very controversial. And I mean, man, they kept Russell Wilson for two seasons, and now... They just decided to cut Russell Wilson and let him go and took a $85 million cap hit of dead money paying somebody who is no longer there on the roster and will no longer throw the ball for your team. They don't have a quarterback. They don't have, a, I don't know their backup quarterback. And if, I mean, if you look it up, I'm pretty sure it's somebody who's not really that popular or not really that established in the NFL right now. So to me, this is crazy for the Denver Broncos. They've outdid themselves in stupidity. And as far as Russell Wilson, I mean, hey, I'm sure he's not really sweating right now because either way, he's about to get his money. And I think the market is still in very good shape to sign Russell Wilson because he played two seasons with the Denver Broncos. That first year with the Denver Broncos, under Nathaniel Hackett. It was kind of rough. Don't get me wrong. He looked bad. A lot of people, including myself, even dogged Russell Wilson out, saying he needs to consider retirement. We went, we made fun. We had fun of making fun of Russell Wilson. We clowned him. It was all fun and games. But then the following season, after they fired head coach Nathaniel Hackett with the Denver Broncos, they brought in Sean Payton. Sean Payton made us realize that Russell Wilson wasn't as bad as everybody thought. We've seen Russell Wilson capitalize on the easy money, the easy throws, the deep throws, the long throws, the accurate throws. We've seen like, okay, this guy, he got some juice in the tank. Like he's not all bad like we thought was the case. So this is going to help Russell Wilson because now he's finishing out with the Denver Broncos kind of on the rise again. Not rising all the way back to where he was when he was in Seattle. But this guy, I mean, he showed that he can still play football. He showed that he can still throw the ball. He had 26 touchdowns and only eight interceptions last season. So that's a lot better than still 60% of the NFL quarterbacks that's there right now. If I'm the Steelers, I got my eyes on Russ. If I'm the Commanders, I'll consider it. I would. I have a good draft pick, so I don't need to get Russ. Kirk Cousins is out there as well, so I, I don't need to get Russ, but I can consider it. There's a lot of other teams out here in the NFL that would benefit from taking Russell. So not only can he still play somewhat at an elite level, you're also going to get Russell Wilson for little to no money. You don't have to get rid of any draft picks. You don't have to trade any players. You probably won't even have to pay him his first year because the Denver Broncos are still going to be paying him $37 million. It's like a win-win situation. You get a quarterback who's experienced and already proven himself in the league just clearly needed a, 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 the right guidance around him, needed the correct um, guidance to help him live up to the talent that, you know, he knows he can play at. So I, I think it's a win-win for Russ. And I think some teams are going to go out there and actively try and get Russell Wilson because, I mean, hey, you, it's a win-win. You don't have to pay anything. You got get a guy who can still play, and then he's still better than about 50, 60% of the league in the quarterback, in, uh, in the, of quarterbacks in the NFL. So I, I like this for Russell Wilson. Definitely dope on his perspective as far as the Broncos the most idiotic thing they've done probably the dumbest move of the decade <laughs> probably the dumbest move in football history that they've done so I, I, I don't know man about the Denver Broncos y'all better pray for that front office because somebody about to lose their job um, pray for Sean Payton because 
he's a, I don't know. I really don't know where they can go from here. Like, even if they draft another quarterback, that's another two, three years, like, in development. You ain't going to be able to pay to bring pieces around him because you took this huge cap hit. Like, the pieces who are already there who are going to be on a contract extension next year, you're not going to be able to pay those guys, keep up with them. Like, it, it, the move just makes no sense to me. This is exactly why, if you remember last week's episode, and I promise I'm about to go to the next topic in just a second, but if you remember last week's episode, we were talking about Dak Prescott, um, and I said he should be cut from the Cowboys. Cowboys should not re-sign him. But this is a clear example of what would happen if the Dallas Cowboys did not re-sign Dak Prescott. They would take a huge cap hit, and not only do you lose a quarterback, but you still have to pay him the money, even though he's not fair playing for your team. It's stupid. It's stupid. 